Hi guys and welcome back to WP Data Tables Tutorials. So this video we are going to show you how you can use placeholders in your filters, which is something a lot of you guys asked about. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay. Um, placeholders are used as predefined search and replace uh, values. So we have a prepared table with world cities, around 254 rows in there. So basically, if you want to use a predefined value in a filter, you can do it like this. So for example, you predefine a variable placeholder, which would be China. You save that and then you copy the placeholder itself. So basically copy that and assign it to the to one of the columns as a predefined filtering value save the changes and once you do that you will see the table now you don't see anything in here because we probably have a predefined value in one of the other columns here let's just remove that here it is var1 is selected in the city so we will not use a predefined value in here so okay now when we save the changes we will see that the placeholder China is applied to the country column here. As you can see, this is automatically added to the filter above. So if you want to change that, if you want to hide that for your users, you can simply inspect the page. Let me just place it below. Okay, so when you inspect the page, you see this filter. You basically just copy the selector and add it to the custom CSS. So in here, you do this. Display none. And when you do that and save the changes, the filter will be applied, but on the front end, it will be hidden. As you can see, no one can edit the filter and change the country. So this can be used on, uh, if you wanna, pre-filter the table, but don't allow the customers to change that. So basically, if you want to allow users to change the country, so they only have China as a predefined value, you don't have to hide the filter. Another option that you can use with the placeholders when filters are concerned is that you can edit the data source itself. For example, here in the query, you add where um, column country equals var one. So when you save these changes, it will only pull China. So you see the country is not pre-filtered using the, the placeholder but you can pull only the results where country is equal var1. And as you can see, the number of rows was narrowed down to 163 entries. This is useful if you're going to replace this on multiple pages. For example, you've created var1 and you set it to be China, but you want a different page for, let's say USA or Germany, doesn't matter. So you create a page another country where you copy the short code and you define the placeholder where var1 will be Germany. So when you publish this page and take a look at it from the front end, you will see only one entry, which is Berlin, Germany, and it's mm -hmm. showing one to one out of one entries filtered from the total of 254 entries. So that's another use case for the placeholders. Basically, you predefine what the table is going to display through here, and you can change this variable on the front end. Now, placeholders can also be used with the current user ID. The WP Data Tables plugin automatically displays your current user ID, your username, your email, and uh, all these placeholders can be used if they are applicable to the table. For example, in here, 
I wouldn't be able to use the current user ID because I don't have that column in there. But I have a WDT ID column, which is the row ID. So basically, you can see all these numbers here. And assuming these are user IDs, you can use the current user ID placeholder and basically use it just like this one. So where current user ID, sorry, where WTT ID is equal current user ID. So this will show me an empty table because, and it will, here it is. Oh, actually I have one. So this uh, is my user ID. Under placeholders, you can see that this is my user ID. And it's filtered, showing only uh, data related to my user ID. So that's how placeholders basically work. They are predefined search and replace values, which you can use to filter the table either through filters of columns or through uh, the query or in the uh, shortcode itself to change the already configured variable placeholder. Great. Thank you, Alexander. You're and welcome. thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. And if you have any other recommendations or anything you would like to see us uh, film and explain a bit more and create a tutorial on, please leave that below in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.